Hi, uh, I'm going to create a file that I call um, Picture in Picture. It is a Photoshop file and it's created using a smart object. So let's start here in Bridge. And to get this image into Bridge as a smart object, I'm going to select the File menu, select Place, and select in Photoshop. Now in Photoshop, if you look in the Layers panel here, you'll see that it is a smart object icon. And let's do a couple more things here in the Layers panel. I'm going to take my layer and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to use both of these smart objects in the effect, the picture-in-picture -picture effect. So let's do this. Uh, first thing, let's take this copy and let's reduce the size. So I'm going to transform it, go to the Edit menu, and select Retransform. And I just want to make it smaller. So I'm going to hold down my Shift button shift key and hold down the mouse and just resize that will resize proportionally and once I've resized it to uh, my desired size I'm going to double click inside to um, set the effect. Next I'm going to select the original layer and before I select the original layer I'm going to add a new layer to this uh, file. So I'm going to go to the layers panel and select new layer and after I select OK, I'm going to take this new layer and drag it down below the original layer. The only reason I'm doing this is for visual effects because I want to be able to see um, uh, some of my steps in the future without seeing the checkerboard transparency that would normally appear here. So I'm also going to fill this uh, layer with white. So I'm going to use a shortcut. Uh, my default uh, foreground color right now is white and I'm going to quickly fill this with white by hold down, holding down the Option key and pressing Delete. I'm on the Mac, so on the PC that would be Alt Backspace to fill that with white. Alright, so let's go back to our copy layer. I'm going to turn off the visibility of the original layer for a second while I add a couple of effects to the um, uh, smart, the small picture-in-picture -picture layer. So let's zoom in and let's add a stroke around this image here. So with my layer selected, FX um, icon at the bottom of the layers panel. And first let's add a stroke. So select stroke. This is going to be a 10 point black stroke. Let's make that a little larger. Make that 15. And the position is going to be on the inside. And let's also, while we're here, add a drop shadow. So I'm going to click on the drop shadow text. The checkbox will um, appear checked. And I'm going to come outside and just slightly move this drop shadow around right to about there. And change the size a little bit to soften it up. And let's choose OK. All right, so I'm done with that. <clears throat> Back to the Layers panel. Let's click on the original layer. And let's also zoom out. So I'm going to uh, zoom out, uh, that would be Control-0 or um, Command-0 on the Mac. So I'm going to turn back on the original layer. And now I want to uh, basically give the original layer a sort of a grayscale um, black and white image look. But whatever I do to this smart object will also happen to the copy. So I'm going to add what's called a gradient map to create that um, grayed out black and white effect. So let's go back down to the bottom of the layers panel and I'm going to select the create new fill or adjustment layer icon. Hold down my mouse and I want to select the gradient map command. The gradient map command is reversed here so I'm going to click on or reverse it, click on reverse and that uh, gives me the black and white effect I want but I also want to um, um, reduce the opacity of this layer to give it more of a faded grayed out look. So I want just about there. And my last touch is to add text. And I'm going to click right here and type in. All right. And let's slide that over. And I'm going to click on the text layer to set that text. And I'm also going to add a um, effect to this. But before I do that, let me drag my text all the way up to the top of the layers panel. And now the FX icon. Let's add a drop shadow to the text. And let's increase the size to soften that up. 
she's okay. And that's basically the effect that I want to have here. So I hope this uh, gives you um, a useful a useful technique. But one of the best parts about this technique is this. I'm going to go back into the Layers panel and click on my original Smart Object layer. Now I can replace the contents of my Smart Object. And remember, what happens to one of the Smart Object layers here also happens to the other because these two Smart Object layers are connected. So I'm going to right-click on my Smart Object layer and select Replace Contents. And the image that I want to replace it with is to this one right here. And let's select Place. And it immediately replaces the contents of one and two Smart Object layers and I can resize and move them around if I want. But this gives you a great idea for a template that you can just constantly replace the contents of the Smart Object layers without having to recreate the file over again. I hope this tip was helpful. Bye-bye.